brother told me that he liked my dress. He might have been flirty. Hey, it's Adriana. We're at Universal Studios Florida. We're going to try all the things here. There's pizza, there's burgers, there's good drinks. I'm excited. Let's go. This is Iconic Eats. No, for real. Let's, let's go. All right, it's our first stop of the day. We're at Today Cafe, and we got the bagels and lots because it's New York, baby. We have a dill whipped cream cheese, smoked salmon, julienne onions, fresh dill. Nice and hearty to start my theme park day. Let's try it. Cream cheese is fresh. It's cold. It's covered in dill, light because it's whipped. I've never been to New York and had a bagel in Lox. So I know, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I, I enjoy this food, but I've never had it from New York. Um, so I'm gonna guess that Today Cafe is gonna be as authentic as possible. But Chelsea, I know you're from New York. You have to let me know if it's authentic or not. Yeah, get a big bite. I'm gonna mirror her face. She went. That's really good. It's, is it good? Now you know if you want authentic bagel and locks at a theme park, come to Today Cafe. We need to finish these because it's going to be a long day. We got to keep our energy up. Um, can you give me a bagel and locks cheers? Yeah. Oh. Fresh avocados, arugula, radicchio salad on top, cashews, sort of crusty bread. The avocado is an overly seasoned. It's fresh. The avocado is really the hero here. This is a vegan option. We're two for two for New York staples. We have one more item for today cafe. This is the Carnegie marble rye, pastrami, Swiss cheese, spicy brown mustard. It doesn't get more New York than a pastrami sandwich. Have I let you guys know that I love spicy brown mustard? I do. It's, it's literally my favorite thing. I will eat it on top of anything, so I have high hopes for this sandwich because it is loaded with mustard. Ooh, it's gonna be a big bite too. They really don't skip on this. Big theme park, big city sandwich. Really meaty, the pastrami is flavorful. It's piled high full of meat. It's a good bang for your buck. You definitely can share it with two people. If you eat it by yourself, you might have the meat sweats and I will probably have the meat sweats because I'm gonna finish it. The Blues Brothers. Oh my god, I love this! It's a party outside. I'm sure there's gonna be a party inside too. We're at Finnegan's Bar and Grill. This is my first drink of the day and this is the Finnegan's GNT. It is a gin and tonic, obviously, but it has raspberry. And is that a sprig of rosemary? It looks refreshing. I'm hot. Let's try it. Even if you're not a gin drinker, I would recommend this drink. I know gin can be overpowering sometimes, and quite frankly, it tastes like evergreen trees, but this one doesn't. It has the rosemary in it, and the berry kind of offsets some of the herby flavor of it, but it is just really refreshing. Because I'm drinking this, I know I need some more food in my system. But let's go get some food from Finnegan's. Finnegan's is one of the most popular spots in Universal Studios. This bar is normally packed. Uh, we did get in here a little bit earlier so that we could have a special moment with her food. Um, but if you come to Universal Studios, I definitely think you need to come and try the food and the drinks here at Finnegan's. So right here we have the scotch egg. It's one of their popular menu items. Scotch egg is a sausage wrapped egg. It's deep fried. You get a mustard dipping sauce. I consider myself a mustard connoisseur. I do like a different type of mustard. It's a hard boiled egg, but the yolk is still really soft and fluffy. I feel like this is a food that I would want after a long night of drinking at the Irish pub. Like it feels like it'll soak up all of the alcohol. If you've never had a scotch egg before, it's an opportunity to try something new at a theme park, which we love. Um, but if you really like scotch eggs, I wouldn't share with anybody because it's really that good. <laughs> Next, we're gonna try the Irish loaded chips piled high with corned beef, cheddar cheese, it has a gravy on top of it, some scallions for a nice little freshness. I have a perfect bite right here. This is a little bit of the corned beef. I got a scallion there, I got some cheese, I got some gravy. When you want loaded chips, you want potatoes, you want cheese, you want bacon. But this one has the corned beef, which is 
giving you that rich, bacony, salty flavor, but with an you know, Irish twist. The gravy just adds an extra element of creaminess. All right, so we've tried the bagel and locks, the pastrami sandwich, the classic Irish food. We can't go to New York and not get a slice of pizza. So let's go to Louie's. So many turns. Is it authentically New York if I have to go through this many turns? Can I please get a jumbo slice of pepperoni pizza? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really big. Thank you. Oh, it's truly jumbo. The cheese is dripping. <laughs> this is a jumbo slice from Louie's. No, it is not two slices of pizza. It is one giant slice. Ooh, a little grease drip. It is so big. Please don't drop it. I'm not gonna drop it. Apparently it's authentic if you gotta fold it. Ooh. The dough is soft, the cheese is gooey, the pepperoni is has a nice bite to it. I know we've been talking about how you're the authority, Chelsea, on um, New York things. I think it's a great slice. I'm from Chicago. It's a good slice of pizza, but this is not Chicago style. This is New York style. I think we're getting interrupted. The Blues Brothers car is coming, so we had to move out the road. Hi. Thank you. A Blues Brother told me that you like my dress. He might have been flirty. I mean, what a way to end our trip in New York. I got a New York slice. A blues brother told me that he liked my dress. We're at Richter Burger Company. This entire restaurant is earthquake themed. This is the mushroom Swiss truffle burger. And I'm gonna try this burger and see where it lands on the Richter scale. Gonna blow my mind. This burger is large, it is juicy. There is mushrooms, mayo, Swiss. I think this is a truffle mayo. It smells like it. it. Oh, it does smell like truffle. I love the smell of truffle. Mm. I love Swiss cheese on my burgers. The burger is cooked perfectly. It's nice and brown on the outside, it has a little crisp to it. Truffle mayo really comes through. It's sitting on a bed of lettuce and tomato. I think this is a good amount of truffle mayo, but honestly, I would ask for another side of truffle mayo. On a scale of one to 10 of a burger at a theme park, this one hits us 10. I don't even know if the Richter scale goes up to 10, but this one is definitely a 10. Now I'm gonna need something to drink. Hi, Murph, how are you? Doing good around here, you know, chopping around like always. I know. How are you? I'm great. All right. Can nice. I get a shark get attack? Shark attack it is. Thanks for chomping back. Chop, 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 chop. This is beautiful. There's blood in the water. <laughs> it's been a shark attack. We're at Shea Alcatraz. This is the shark attack. Our friend Murph hooked us up and made it special. Well, it's the way he makes it for everyone, but it felt special. It's coconut rum, blue carousel with grenadine at the bottom to give it the shark attack look. It's visually stunning. It's one of the prettiest drinks we've had so far. Oh wait, the drink at Finnegan's was pretty too. If I had to choose which one was prettier, this one on the water is definitely gonna be the one to go for. And it's themed. Shea Alcatraz is from Jaws. This is a Jaws themed drink. Let's try it. Oh, you get the coconut flavor from the coconut rum, the blue carousel, 
gives it a, a more of a sweet flavor. The grenadine on top adds an extra bit of sweetness as well. My favorite part is a cherry. I love when cherries sit in the ice and then it's extra cold. This is a good middle of the road drink after you've eaten a lot at the parks and rode a couple of rides, just relax by the water and have a coconut drink. We just finished trying the Shark Attack. We're gonna go across the water to Lombards and try some good seafood. It's a great option for coming inside for a little bit, getting a little rest from the sun. It's a casual dining spot and they specialize in seafood. This is the ahi tuna poke. It comes with what looks like it's fresh wonton chips. There's a wasabi cream on the side. I see tuna, we have tomato, we have fresh avocado, a zest of lime on top, sesame seeds. I think we've been eating a lot of heavier things today. And this is a good like palate refresher in the middle of the day. Just makes you feel better about all of the things that you've been eating. And probably the exact opposite of that is the fisherman's basket. So this comes with fried shrimp, cod, calamari. We have some tartar sauce on the side and some cocktail sauce as well. It is piping hot. Ooh. I like that you can tell that this is a fresh made tartar sauce and not like something that comes out of a, a bottle. Not that the stuff that comes out of the bottle isn't good, but this is definitely house made. You can tell it has a lot of flavor to it. The fish is light, but it has a really nice beer batter breading on it, which is crunchy. The crunchy bits are always the best. Oh yeah, it has a good crunch to it. We also have shrimp and we also have calamari. I wanna try the calamari next. I'm gonna put a little bit more lemon on it and dip it in my cocktail sauce. First thing I wanna say is that calamari is cooked perfectly. If you overcook calamari, it could be really chewy. This is not chewy at all. It's soft. The breading on it is really crisp. It's good calamari. I can't not try the shrimp. This is a big piece. I'm not even gonna dip it in any sauce. We're about to be a shrimp purist right now. Mm. Mm. I didn't put any sauce on it, and honestly, it doesn't need any sauce. Like, the flavor of the shrimp is so good, and then the battering on top is perfect. Chelsea, do you eat the tails of your shrimp? No. You don't? No. All right. This is for all the people who like the tails of the shrimp. You can tell if the shrimp tail is gonna be good uh, by how crispy it is. So see how it's like, it's not soft? I'm gonna crunch it. And then it just crunches like potato chips. All right, so this is a nice light option from Lombard's. This one is a heavier, more filling option. You definitely can share this one with the whole family. We have one more item to try. Let's go do that. We're still at Lombard's, but I had to bring you guys outside so you could see this beautiful view. We were just across the water at Shea Alcatraz. Now we're sitting out here on the dock, and I'm gonna try the Connecticut lobster roll. The difference between a New England lobster roll and a Connecticut lobster roll is that the Connecticut is made more like a salad. So it has like mayo or like a salad dressing inside of it. Whereas the New England style is more of a purist style. You're gonna have just the fresh lobster with the butter that you pour on top. I've never had the Connecticut style. This is gonna be new for me. We'll go on this journey together. Mm. So it's lobster, mayo, we have the lettuce, we have some fresh green onions on top. You can see mustard. You know. I wanted the birds to try some too. <laughs> I'm so messy, I'm so sorry. If you like lobster and you like seafood, this is a great option. There's plenty of butter on this bread and you can't go wrong with butter, bread and lobster. We're in London. So of course we have to go to Diagon Alley. I can show you the way. Let's go. This is the Iron Belly Dragon. He escaped from Gringotts. <laughs> and now we're gonna see him roar. <gasps> I am ready to fill my insides with a drink. We made it. We're in Diagon Alley at the Leaky Cauldron. 
So many infamous Harry Potter scenes were here, and I feel transported. I have pumpkin juice. I'm excited to try it. I know a lot of people are not fans of pumpkin juice, or they're just afraid of it because pumpkin, but it's actually really refreshing. And it's not just pumpkin. You get flavors of peach, pear, a lot of citrus, tropical flavors in it as well. And then it just has like a hint of cinnamon. You would think that pumpkin is like a fall drink, but the pumpkin juice isn't. You can drink it any time of the year. And I really like it in the summer because it is really refreshing. It reminds you of like an apple juice after a hot day of playing. Fishy green ale, uh, something definitely fishy going on with this drink. It looks kind of intimidating. It kind of reminds me of fish eggs and it's, it's green. It's literally green. It matches your dress though. It does match my dress. I'm gonna smell it. Oh. oh, it smells minty. Okay, that gives me high hopes. Wait a minute. Okay, so there's popping boba and it's carbonated. Like the popping boba is carbonated. So it like fizzes in your mouth when you when you when it pops it's blueberry it's definitely blueberry but i taste something that's minty so let me try it again whatever the green soda is that part is minty and then the fish eggs or popping balls those are have like a blueberry flavor and they're they definitely have like a carbonation to them it, it makes they fizz on your tongue the leaky cauldron has a lot of different drinks that you can try that are inspired from the wizarding world these are the two that i was most excited to try um pumpkin juice just feels classic you hear about it in the story so much um so i wanted to experience that but the fishy green ale is one of a kind um i've never had anything that like fizzed on my tongue like that so I would say if you're going to pick one that you definitely need to walk around and sip I would go with the pumpkin juice but if you're more adventurous try the fishy green ale hello oh my goodness look at that potato Ooh, she is hefty 13 go no. That literally doesn't make sense. Do no, well, it's 12 Grimmel Place. Yeah. We need to go, but the 13 doesn't matter. It's the magical place. <sighs> so how mad at me are you? I'm, I'm very upset because we're at 13 Grimmel Place, which doesn't make any sense if you're in Wizarding World. You go to 12 Grimmel Place. That's where Sirius lives. That's where the Order of the Phoenix is. I don't know what even exists at 13 at Grimmel Place. You do. I I do with my jacket potato. This is a broccoli and cheese jacket potato. It is heavy. It is a big potato loaded with fresh broccoli, cheese. They give you salt and pepper and butter to put on top, which of course you have to. This is a lot of food, and if you're going to be running around the parks all day, this will definitely keep you energized. I also think this is one of the best items you can purchase at Wizarding World, or probably in the whole theme park, because you get so much for the price. One person would not be able to finish this by themselves, so I think a family of four would munch real good on this. And if you don't like broccoli and cheese, don't worry, there is a jacket potato with shepherd's pie, which, shepherd's pie, classic for... Wizarding World and London. There's also a cheese and beans version, but it's not just regular beans. It's more like a chili. I'm gonna try to eat as much of this as I can at 13 Grimmauld Place, but I'm really excited because I have a surprise plant for you. We made it to Springfield. Krusty Land is behind me. So I had to change my outfit so that I'm appropriate. Simpsons has a lot of iconic foods. I don't know what we're trying to try first. Let's go. Homer's over there. He matches. This is the Meat Haters Pizza from Luigi's. I love the name. So obviously it's a vegetarian option. There's no meat on it at all. It's cheese, green peppers, mushrooms, red peppers, fresh tomatoes.
Oh, that cheese is fresh. I know with pizza, the thing is the sauce. The sauce tastes authentic. The cheese is creamy, fresh, cheesy. You're not missing the meat at all. Loads of vegetables. Great option for your vegetarian theme park goer. This is a flamey mo. Obviously, it's on fire. <laughs> There's dry ice at the bottom. It's like an orange soda. It's a citrus orange mix. Oh, okay. It's light. It's not heavy on the orange flavor. You can definitely taste that it's more than just orange. The dry ice underneath it gives it a lot of bubbles, gives you um, more spicy in your throat. I know we talk about soda being spicy sometimes. This is definitely a spicy soda. <laughs> from Moe's, but you can also get it at Duff Beer. I'm not going to play like I'm a beer connoisseur. I'm not, but like in Springfield, you have to get what the signature item is. And if the place says Duff Beer, you get a Duff Beer. I like beer, but I'm not a beer expert. It pretty much all tastes the same to me. So Chelsea, you need to let me know what this tastes like. Is it's it good? It's a lager, I think. Amber. Amber. Now I know. It's an amber lager. Do you like it? I mean, I know that I like amber lagers now. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're in Springfield, Duff beer for the adults, a flame and mo for the kitties. I'm really hungry now. Let's go get something to eat. We're about to get some crusty burgers. They're made to order, so they make them right in front of you. I'm going to get two. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, you can't be stealing my fries before I even get to them. <laughs> Can I have some more of this sauce? Yeah, sure. I needed more secret sauce for my fries. <laughs> Your fries. Are, I'm not sharing any more fries with you, Chelsea. <laughs> thank you. Everybody's complimenting my outfit and it just makes me feel so good about myself. This is a crusty burger. It's a beef patty with lettuce and tomato cheese sauce, secret sauce on a toasted bun, and a cornichon. Oh my gosh, she's messy. The messier, the better. That's not food porn, I don't know what is. Mm. I love that there's cheese sauce on it instead of just like American cheese, it makes it messier. But it also like really gives you that cheesy flavor. And then the secret sauce, Obviously, it's a secret. I don't know what's in it. I'm pretty sure it's a mayo ketchup base, but it's good. It's creamy. It's zesty. It goes well with the burger. Then we have fries. These are like boardwalk fries or curly fries. Seasoned well as curly fries normally are. This burger is amazing. And if this one is really good, I'm very excited to try the next one. And it's vegetarian. The Mother Nature Burger. It's a Chipotle black bean patty. Looks like I see some corn in here. It's sitting on a bed of lettuce and tomato. There's guacamole, toasted bun. Let's dig in. Another messy burger. The chipotle flavor is the first thing you get. It's smoky, which gives the black beans a meatier flavor. The guacamole on top is the best part. Whenever it's vegetarian, you kind of want more vegetables on top, but it's a theme park, so make it guacamole. I'm really excited to dip my fries in the guacamole though. Like, why would you not do that? You didn't dip your fries in the secret sauce. Oh, my extra secret sauce. Thank you, my secret sauce. I just want to dip my fries in this. When you come to Krusty Burger, ask for extra burger sauce and dip your fries in it. It's the way to go. I don't make the rules, I just obey them. This is the Big Pink from Lard Lad Donuts. It is a giant pink sprinkled donut. 
This is obviously the iconic donut from The Simpsons. It matches my aesthetic today. I'm so excited to take a bite. It's a giant, fresh, classic donut. The pink icing is vanilla flavor. Sprinkles are always a good bet. It's soft, it's doughy. I mean, what more do you want from a donut? I feel like I'm in The Simpsons. I'm gonna awkwardly get off this. <laughs> oh, wait. end of the day I am a tired tired girl but I couldn't leave without getting a churro mm, the cinnamon is calling my name and it's warm Universal's churros are epic they're legendary if you never heard about them you've probably never been on Twitter they rave about them all the time it's and it's totally worth it would you judge me if I ate this whole thing by myself right now Epic day at Universal Studios. We tried 20 something items. It's all been amazing. I had a great time. I will see you guys on another day at another park for another adventure.